you been hiding this handsome thing? Uh, Angela. Th th this is Mike, my boyfriend. Angela, pleasure. Heard a lot about you. It's really cool to finally meet some of El Jane's friends. Friends? <laughs> yeah, super cool. Come on, friend. Let's skate, shall we? I, I wanted to finish this with Oh, Mike. hold on to that. <laughs> Come on. Oh. I like how protective Quinn is, though. What? I hope she hasn't been telling you everything. What are you talking about? She's lying to you, Mike. Bullshit! No, listen to me. She's having problems here. Problems? Okay, what kind of problems? She gets bullied. Stay put. The local snitch. Joyce probably isn't even really aware of like what she's having to put up with. Voila, okay, you are now calling from Durham, North Carolina, but if this is KGB, they will still be able to trace us eventually, so keep it brief. How brief? A minute max and... Proof of life, got it. <laughs> These two together is like the best. This is Enzo. Hello, Enzo. This is Joyce. I received your message and I would like to make a reservation. Yes. Good, good. Oh, Christ. That's a reservation. You need to make deposit. Uh, what, what kind of deposit? $40,000. You have it in Hopper's trust. For the girl, yes? Uh, yes, yes. 40000 Good. Bring to Yuri's Fish and Fly in, no, Alaska. You want me to go to Alaska? Yes. You give Yuri money, Yuri gets me money, I give him your friend. Simple trade. Oh, Shit. We're, we're, we're gonna have to speak to Hopper. We need to know that he's alive. Hey! Forty thousand. Yuri's fish and fly. Two days. Do not call again. Alaska. Well, that wasn't the KGB. <laughs> but it wasn't a friend either. So we're both wrong. <laughs> Who the hell was that? He was strong American. Perhaps the motherland could use that strength. Oh shit. I feel like anyone who hears this clock is just screwed. My nephew. He may look dangerous, but he didn't do this. Seemed like a nice kid actually. And just ain't in his nature. Do you understand why you run away? No matter what anyone says, and they will say things, believe you me. But this wasn't Eddie. Don't go in the woods. Back when I was a kid, everybody knew the name Victor Creel. He lost his mind, killed his whole family. Kids and wife. Why? Their eyes. Cut them right out. And that poor girl I found this morning, same exact thing. Sam, I'm all. So I'm thinking, maybe he broke out. Victor Creel is still alive? They locked him away in Penhurst Asylum. Yeah, as far as I know, he's still there. That is, 
unless you broke out. Like that, what's his name? The white mask and kill the babysitters. Michael Myers? Yeah. Oh, man! Michael Myers. He asked me, Victor's like that. If someone was in Penhurst, that would be all over the news if they got out. Bloody run! <laughs> Holy shit! to do. Careful with that hand. Okay. Please get that bottle out of his hand. I want to know what happened. You won't believe me. They will. Trias. Excuse me, sorry. Have, have you seen my friend wandering around? A nerdy glasses, scar on his face? No, sorry. Eddie went into them woods. Not Eddie. What's he called? Hey, officer. Officer? What are you still doing here? My, my, my friend from the car earlier, I, I can't find him. What do you mean you can't find I mean, him? He, he was there and then he was just gone. And uh, Did you maybe see him leave with somebody? Or... I told you kids to go home. Jesus Christ. This is Glenn. We might have a situation here. Mm-hmm. How long has they been running? Oh, shit. What I'm about to tell you might be a little difficult. Oh! Okay. You know how people say Hawkins is... Hell? ...cursed? They're not way off. There's another world. A world hidden beneath Hawkins. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it... Bleeds, bleeds through into ours like ghosts and shit there are some things worse than ghosts i want you to join me building another army Oh, man. You know, I tried to wake her in the air. She couldn't move. It was like she, she was in a... Dream. Trance or something. Or under a spell. A curse. Vecna's curse. Oh. Vecna. An undead creature of great power. Oh my god. This just seems 
be getting more crazy like and we're already in episode two so I'm thinking what the hell's it going to be like by the time we get to the end of this first part that they've released so we've got Nancy taking her friend to the trailer park to see what happened to try and get a report on you know get an inside scoop he's gone he's gone the same way as Chrissy did in the end of the first episode and it for me it seems like whatever this Vecna thing is this dark wizard this sorcerer like Dustin was saying kind of seeks people out with grief because it seemed like Chrissy was you know going through some things she seemed troubled I kind of felt like she something had happened to her in, in kind of the time that's passed maybe even because of the mind flare and then obviously we've got this friend of Nancy's who accidentally killed somebody in a car crash and is still coming to terms with that grief to see how these people like when the police officer was talking to him in the car and he started seeing things his scar started bleeding it's interesting like it's making me wonder like you know it seems like an army is possibly being built again because he said to the to the guy at the end like i want you to join me so this is like oh like this guy has just suddenly disappeared was he always in the upside down or is it just something that is now there for me it kind of feels like whatever D, D campaign is happening seems to have like an effect on the upside down because we saw eddie in the first episode talking about vecna and then there's vecna like it reminds me of when they were talking about the demigorgon and the mind flayer and then they were in the upside down so it's making me think like that's insane but then also seeing how joyce has got murray and they're they, they go through the letter, they phone this number, they believe that there's this guard at this prison where Hopper is that is calling himself Enzo, so he must have talked to Hopper, but he wants money, so they're going to get him money. But seeing how Hopper, I thought maybe Hopper jumped into the Upside Down and like went through, you know, the crack in the wall, but it's kind of like unreal to think that, no, he'd actually just fallen down a level and out of the basically like the, the blast radius of the machine I guess and he was there that entire time so when Murray found Joyce and he said to her where's Jim and she was like he was right there and I'm just like oh my god like that's crazy and then clearly when the Russians have came and got him they've just taken him back to Russia I guess and now he's in this prison and like some of the things they were doing to him you were just like oh god and even murray said they're going to try and break him but he just seems like he's in some kind of work prison at the moment so i'm looking forward to seeing how like that moves forward i'm gonna go watch the next one and i will see you guys later so thank you